Hello and welcome back. My name is Stefano and today I'm going to be introducing you to Unraid Connect, previously known as My Servers. Unraid Connect is pretty cool because it allows you to access your Unraid servers through the cloud. There's a dashboard that presents you with relevant information about each one of your Unraid servers that you can access at a glance. There's other features that include dynamic remote access, deep linking, online flash backups, and license key management. So without any further waiting, let's go ahead and take a look at Unraid Connect. With the intro out of the way, we can finally take a look at Unraid Connect. So here is the dashboard for Unraid Connect and we're immediately presented with information relevant to each of my Unraid servers. So here on the left pane, we have PNAS and on the right, we have USUT and we can see that PNAS has a pro license and USUT has a basic. We can see their uptime. We can see what Unraid version they're running and we can even see what Unraid Connect plugin version number they're running. And what I like most about this is we can also see what the storage or what percentage of the storage is currently being utilized from the array. So PNAS is sitting here at 35% utilization of 37 terabytes in total. And similarly, we can also see USAID. Now that's all really cool, but one thing that's actually even more cool than that is dynamic remote access. What is dynamic remote access? Well, let me show you. So I'm gonna click on manage here and we have the ability to enable or start remote access. So what this does is we can dynamically turn on and turn off remote access to our Unraid server by utilizing UPnP. And so what this is gonna do is reach out to the server and then enable UNP and UPnP, which it just did. And now we can log into the server as if we were local to our home network. So I'm actually currently using my cell phones um, as a hotspot on my for my laptop. So I'm not on my home network and that's how I'm showing you this functionality here. So let me get logged in. And we can pretend like we're using our Unraid server remotely. So uh, we get some notifications here letting us know that remote access has been started. Um, and then now we can interact with our Unraid server as we see fit. Um, we can do things like, I don't know, I go to display settings and let's say that we don't want to have a banner anymore. Uh, let's turn this to no, hit apply, and then we're back to the default banner. Um, and you can just, you know, interact with your server like you normally would. Um, so that's really cool that we have that ability. And then of course, if we wanted to stop having access, we can pr press on stop remote access here. But before we do that, I do want to actually go through the rest of the server uh, or the rest of the options within Unready Connect. So here we see server details. So let's go ahead and click on that. And this page is pretty cool because it allows us to customize this. We can drag each one of these panes around, uh, moving the ones that are more irrelevant away or moving the ones that are more relevant further to the left. You can customize this however you see fit. Of course, it's fully dynamic, which is also really sweet. Um, so on this particular server, we can see the storage here. So we can see that it has two disks, one in the array. Uh, we can see how much of it is being currently utilized. We can see um, a disk inside of cache and inside of our cache pool, and it's got no utilization. We can see that uh, there is one container installed. Uh, however, it's not running. And then of course we have other options within here too, like stopping dynamic remote access. We can generate a backup of our USB device. If we press this button, it'll allow us to download that, which is really cool. We can manage our keys, our license keys. Uh, but probably one of the neat features is something called uh, deep linking. So these little icons here represent deep linking. And basically deep linking means that it's a URL redirect, but to an application instead of a website. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on view and Unraid, and this is gonna take us to our Unraid server, to my Unraid server. And uh, we can now start that container through that using that deep link. Super freaking simple. Uh, so let's go back to server details, and we can see this page is automatically updated, which is really sweet. Uh, if you were at home and you were to click on this link here, it would actually open up for you uh, unfortunately, since I am not directly connected, this link doesn't work. Not a big deal, but pretty cool uh, nonetheless. So let me just close that. Okay, what else? So 
Uh, other cool things that you can do, um, actually, before we look at other things, let's go to the other server because I wanted to show you uh, what it has too. So we can see, and this one has a little bit different setup. Uh, the pane's a little bit different, but I wanted to show you what it looks like if you have more than one drive. So in this array, there are several drives. There's four. Uh, we have a cache pool that has a RAID 10, and there's four NVMe drives in that cache pool. And then we can see the total utilization of that cache pool as opposed to the utilization of each drive. That's pretty neat. Um, and then again, you know, all the same stuff that we've previously seen. Okay, so one other cool feature that I think is neat is that we can customize these banners. Now, I don't know if this is gonna work, but we'll try it anyway. So if we click on this customize button, uh, we have a little pop-up here that tells you how to customize the header image uh, for you set. And so if you click on this view and unraid, this will take you to your unraid server. Uh, this is the settings tab, display settings, and then you can change your banner. So let's go ahead and say that we want to show a banner. Uh, this is the default banner for unraid. You can of course change this if you so choose to a PNG image. I'm not going to do that for this video. I'm just going to go ahead and apply the default one. We can see that my banner has been updated already. So let's close out of here. And you should just be able to hit refresh. And well, it failed to refresh. It said, could not fetch header from the server. Are you sure that it's online? Well, I'm pretty sure it's online there, Unraid. Uh, but that's okay. <laughs> um, maybe if we give it the old uh, refresh and then try again, let's see. Nope. Doesn't want to work, not a big deal. But in the future, you'll be able to customize those too. So you can have uh, little customized banners. And then what's also really neat about that too is some PNGs are, have the ability to move. So you can even have these like flash or have little moving icons on them if you really wanted to. That would be really neat. Um, of course, this is fully dynamic. So if you were on, let's say an iPhone or iPad, um, you could still use this relatively easily. So let's pretend that we're on that. Let's go to more tools, responsive design, um, just to give you an idea of what to expect. So let's say that you are on an iPhone 11 Pro Max. This is what my, my servers, this is what Unraid Connect would look like, uh, which is really cool. So of course you still have the same ability to manage things. Yeah, Unraid looks a little funky here but not too big of a deal. You could pop this window out if you wanted, but we're just gonna close out of here. Oh wait, close manager, yeah, 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 close manage view. I thought that was gonna close our session. I don't wanna do that. Um, we can go back to the dashboard, navigate to each one of our servers. Um, let's see here, let's change over to something a little bit bigger. So we have our iPad. Um, you can see that this is fully uh, responsive which is really neat. The developer that worked on this did an outstanding job. Um, let's go back to manage and, oh, that's not what I wanted to do, but we can get there. Close, yes. Let's go back to details and let's go ahead and disable, how come I, I don't see it now? Uh, that's interesting. I want to dis disable remote access, but it looks like I can't. <laughs> um, okay, well, it's still a little buggy, but we're, well, it'll get there. Let's just go ahead and get out of this. Oh, I've lost my button altogether. What the heck? Uh, let's give it the old refresh. Um, still, still gone. You're embarrassing me. Oh gosh, okay, there we go. Uh, now we can turn off remote access if we wanted to. All right, so obviously a little buggy, but this is of course beta um, access. This is not fully or fully functional yet, and, and that's what we are here to do: is you know test out these features and um, show them to you. So anyway, this was an introduction to Unraid Connect. It's looking pretty cool so far, and there's obviously going to be more to come. So definitely stay tuned if you're interested in this at all. And uh, I am, I am for one very excited. Uh, for this tool to be more fleshed out and things to come. So with all that being said, don't forget to use the Unraid affiliate link below to buy yourself a license. It does help me out because it is an affiliate link. And I just wanna say thank you all for watching and I will see you all next time. Peace.